Most people think making pizza at home is complicated, but it's not. At least this one isn't. Now there are so many different kinds of pizza. Chicago pizza, New York style pizza, Italian pizza, Costco pizza, the list goes on. While some of those are hard and complicated to make, today's pizza isn't. Pan pizzas are super easy to make and they taste good. Watch this. Start off by combining half a cup of lukewarm water, a teaspoon of yeast, and a teaspoon of sugar. Mix it up and wait five minutes. Just making sure the yeast is alive before going any further. See the foam coming up? That means it's alive and it's good to go. Pour in one cup of flour, a teaspoon of salt and some olive oil and give it a good mix. Make sure you get all the dry flour from the sides of the bowl and keep mixing until you feel it coming together. It should take you about a minute or two. Then grab another bowl and put some olive oil in it. Reach in with your hands and rub it all over the sides. Now transfer your dough into the oiled bowl and cover with plastic wrap. Let it sit for two hours and it should double in size. Now for the sauce. Grab a can of whole peeled tomatoes, drain the excess liquid, and then pour it into a container. Blend it to your desired texture. Now season with salt, oregano, and a little sugar, and sauce is done. Check out the dough, guys. It's alive! Two hours later, it should look like this. Nice and puffy. Preheat your oven to the hottest setting and pour some olive oil into the pan you're gonna use for the pizza. Make sure it's oven safe. Now add your dough and slowly shape it up to the bottom of the pan. If you go too fast, it'll rip. And if it does, just pinch the hole and close it. Once you get it to a nice even shape, cover with a towel and let it proof for another 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 minutes, reshape your dough so that it reaches the edges of the pan and let's get to the toppings. The great thing about making your own pizza is you top it with whatever you want. First add a layer of sauce and then your cheese. I'm using sliced mozzarella and shredded mozzarella. Spread it out all the way to the edges instead of leaving a crust. That way you get a cheesy delicious crust that everyone will eat. Then add whatever toppings you want. I'm doing onions, bell pepper, ham, and chorizo. One more sprinkle of cheese and into the oven we go. 10 to 15 minutes and we're done. Easy, right? Look at that cheesy crust. That's one of the great things about pan pizzas. Let it sit for about five minutes before cutting into it and then enjoy it, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and I hope to see you next time. Bye.